Hi guys, Eggie here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a window capture for open broadcaster software. A window capture is a source option for your scenes that lets you capture any window you have pulled up on your computer. So without further ado, we will start by going to your sources, and in the background, right click the background and go to add, then window capture. Now this will bring up a an option to name your window whatever you want. I'm just going to leave mine as window capture for the time being. And then another options menu will open for you to manipulate your window capture. Now right now I have no options. Even if I hit refresh I have no options. But I will pull up my Google Chrome and press refresh and then look you have the new tab Google Chrome option. If I go to the Grievance Gaming YouTube I can hit refresh again and it now shows that it's reading that Grievance Gaming YouTube is one of the Windows options. Now there's something important to note. If I open up another tab and say go to the Grievance homepage, if I click refresh, it shows the homepage as the Windows option, but it does not show you, uh, the YouTube page any longer despite the fact that I still have it open in a tab. If I tab back to the YouTube page, hit refresh, it shows the YouTube page as, it, as an option. Now the important this is important because uh, window capture does not read individual tabs. So if you want to have multiple window captures in a stream, you must open up a new window altogether. So if I open up this new window, Chrome, uh, Google Chrome window, and press refresh, I now have the new tab option and also Graven's Gaming YouTube as options. Um, now I'm going to close those. Um, you can either have the inner winner window or entire window as options. Inner window is just going to show this stuff. Entire window will show pretty much everything that's on your window when that um, window is selected and pulled up. Um, I'm going to select Grievance Gaming YouTube as my window capture. Um, capture mouse cursor, if you're going to be using the mouse to point out stuff as I have been for your window capture, then you want that selected. If you unselect it, people will not be able to see your mouse. Um, capture layered windows, um, this capture is like skinned or transparent. Um, as it says here, um, mouse flicker, etc., different options when enabled. Um, compatibility mode automatically loads your windows, um, makes it so it shows your windows in compatibility mode. And then you can adjust the gamma to change the brightness, darkness, um, and you can add a filter to change the opacity of the window so it can be slightly see through or you can't see through it at all. So we'll go ahead and press OK so I can show you guys what that'll look up. And now, um, here's my window capture. If you go to edit scene, um, I can move it around. Um, you can see my monitor capture behind it. That's why you can see the OBS and then everything, and then still the uh, Google Chrome, uh, Chrome page on YouTube. But the window capture only shows the window I wanted it to select. Now, we'll get rid of that, and next we're going to do a sub-region window capture. So remove that, that window capture for the time being. Now, in order to have a good sub-region example for you guys, a sub-region is what you'd use if you want only a certain image on a page to show or, say, a video. So I'm going to go ahead and we will pull up um, our latest Star Citizen report. Um, I have it muted, of course, so you guys don't have to listen to the awful awful advertisement. But um, while the advertisement is going, we can go to add window capture, leave it named as window capture, um, and it shows the YouTube page I'm on currently. Now I'll select subregion, and you can either set the positions yourself or you have this awesome little sele select region option. So press select region and you get this big giant white box that we can manipulate and shrink. Um, you're going to go ahead and put it over the video on the window page. Um, and then like it says, press enter escape or click outside this rectangle when you're done. So I'm all done. So I'm going to click outside of it. Um, go back to here and see it shows the position of my sub region selected. Now we'll press OK and there we go. There's my window capture of the specific area of the window I wanted to capture. And I can move this around all I want and put it anywhere I want, but it's still only going to read that specific subregion. Now here's the region, um, <clears throat> here's a good example again why you don't want to have window captures on various tabs and you want the different uh, windows actually open. Um, so right now we see the Star Citizen Report playing. Now 
if I go over back to my other tab, my grievance home page, and pull OBS back up, that subregion is still reading that window where that original subregion was located on the window. So instead of seeing the Star Citizen Report video, I now see a cutout section of the grievance home page. Go back to Star Citizen, it's back to the video like I selected. All right, and then the last option for subregion. Um, go ahead and remove this window capture again and get rid of the Star Citizen Report. Um, is let's go ahead and open our window capture video. Our last um, part of window capture that's an option is actually the color key. Um, color key essentially essentially makes a color in I guess see through kind of invisible, um, or so that the um, software OBS doesn't capture it. So if you go to use color key. You can adjust similarities, blends, whatever you want, but if you go ahead and go to select, it'll give you a little dropper, and we can pick any color in the background. Even though the dropper disappeared, it's still in use. Don't worry, guys. And we'll select this red. So we'll select this red, pull OBS back up, and it pulled the red. Now if we press OK and window capture that, it's going to pull this up, but as you see, as I look, move the window capture around, you can see that these areas where the red would be are actually see-through and now the behind image is coming through it. And you can also adjust the blend and similarity so that it it's some, somewhat opaque, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but that's basically everything for window capture, guys. Let's go ahead. I'll minimize this so that you can see more of the see-through. <clears throat> see, I can see my um, desktop background through this. And that's how the color key works. Uh, so I'll go ahead and remove that. But that's window capture, guys. Um, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more in the future.